Talk to me, David. Thursday night football. What what do we got? Where are we starting? Yeah, we can actually start with Thursday night football because uh, the Cardinal savior returns tonight. DeAndre Hopkins. He is returning from his six-game suspension. Mm. And uh, I just want to know from you, I mean, we talked about uh, Kyler Murray before. We talked about Cliff Kingsbury before. But is this really going to be the, the, the solvent to Kyler Murray looking like a quarterback now? I think uh, it'll help. I do. I, I I think it'll help because he's he's comfortable with him. That's his security blanket. It wasn't there, and he didn't really get anybody else. Plus, they had some injuries going on. I'm not saying it's going to turn this team around, but I think he'll look more like an NFL QB. I feel like by the end of the year, he's going to ask out, and he's not going to be there. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with Kingsbury. There's no rhyme or reason to what they do offensively. And, yeah, great. They get hot back. Hollywood Brown's in a boot. They just traded for a complete butthead in, in Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson. Right, that's what I'm saying. He his just security blanket it. is now back, and you know I I I don't know what's going to happen at the end of the year, but I'm saying as of now, yeah, he's probably going to look a whole lot better. Kyler Murray, Lions quarterback, two K twenty three. Let's go back to Sunday because this story surfaced after the game. <laughs> Bill safety Jordan Hoyer had uh, two ribs cracked. And he took a 15-hour car ride, took a ride share, <laughs> to play in week six at Kansas City. He wasn't cleared to fly. Was That's the detail you're to, leaving well, out. I was, was going to get to that, Mike. He was not cleared to fly. So he not only had to drive 15 hours to play the game, he had to drive 15 hours back because he, again, wasn't cleared to return and fly. So That's crazy. He couldn't just fly on his own? But he's not clear medically to. clear to fly. No doctor would clear that. So okay, if, if you, you want to get if, to the game. Right. I understand you can't fly on the team plane, but flying coming back. United doesn't know you got cracked ribs. Why don't you just buy a ticket and not? Because your 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 own team, your employer didn't clear it. I okay. don't think it would. Okay. The bottom line is that's a football dude. Like Crazy, th- man. this ranks right up there with the Ronnie lot. Just chop off the finger. Right. And then he plays in the game. And I mean, I don't know if he went and saw Dr. Feelgood or not. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. It's not my business. The point is, you want to know what it's like to play in the NFL and the commitment that's expected of you? It's that. It's that. A ride share. 16 hours that sounds from like Buffalo to Kansas City. That's like something Roberto would do. Like, you know, you probably could have just rented a car. Nah, too much trouble. <laughs> Does Roberto still work here? All righty, he's, then. He's gearing up for the big boxing match. I have something for you later in the show. Let's talk about this here because um, it was a story before, years before, uh, about uh, Easterby for the Houston Texans. Well, he's been fired. They've parted ways with Jack Easterby over in Houston. He's been there since 2019, had been a major, major voice mm-hmm. in their organization. That's little you- finger. Yeah. It is Littlefinger. Okay. That's the Correct. guy from the Patriots who was the team chaplain who ends up in a football decision-making role while allegedly, according to damn near every report, stabbing everyone in the back that he could possibly stab. Just tremendous. Great guy. Well, he's gone now. Let me ask you this question, though, because CBS Sports did a overreaction or reality article, and there's two things from it that I want to get from you to know if it's an overreaction or reality. Sure. First... The Jets are a threat to make the playoffs. Overreaction or reaction? No, no, no. And it's I'm thinking the same thing. It's like, are is it time to think about the Jets and Giants differently? And my answer is no. It's still too early. And you know what, David? The reason I say that is I think they could both lose this weekend. Giants are three point dogs to a two and four football team in the Jags in Jacksonville, and the Jets are an underdog to a bad Broncos team in Denver. And if they both lose this week. Their season's not over, but it powers down some of the hyperbole with these two teams. Yeah, but see, I, I look at both, also those two games, Mike, and they could easily win both. And at some point, you do have to buy, buy in and say, maybe this isn't the Jets and the that we normally knew about. That has just been bad. I mean, when the fact that Sauce could put on a cheese head and walk around Lambo tells me it's a different swag going on in that locker room. They actually believe that they can win, and they're longer, no longer the punching bag of the NFL. The next one, the 5-1 and one Vikings are Super Bowl contenders. No. No. 
Because they would play the Super Bowl in prime time, right? Yeah, prime they time. Cousins two they, and ten. They would play the playoff games in prime, in prime time, time, right? Yes. I think they're the okay. NFC. I think they're the team that wins the NFC North. Yeah. I mean the yeah, Packers to me. Yeah. But yeah, they would have to play games in front of people, in front of lights, and that ain't Cousins' forte. Okay, so then let's talk about the current odds in the Super Bowl. Because we all know the Buffalo Bills, the Philadelphia Eagles, they're high up on that list. Kansas City Chiefs, high up on the odds. But I want to go, let's go some odds lower than that. We got 1,300 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Absolutely not. 1,800 plus 1,800 for the San Francisco 49ers. Absolutely And the Chargers. Absolutely not. And then you got plus 2,000 for the Packers and the Ravens. I'll just, I'll be, I'll be up front with it. The only two teams I would bet to win this thing would be the Bills and the Eagles. And the Bills are at plus 280 and the Eagles at plus 550. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I, We're just I, looking for a long shot. Yeah, it doesn't I really mean, look like a long shot. If here. you wanted a long shot, it'd be his team. I was about to say, I, I, would, I would say the Niners, because by the end of the season, you will get a lot of people back healthy. You're going to be healthier this weekend against Kansas City, right? You're getting Trent Williams back potentially, right. Bosa back potentially, and Jimmy Ward back. Right, but then Bosa will be gone by the second half, and we'll have to sit and wait another three if weeks. If you don't want Nick Bosa, I'll take him. No, no, we'll keep him around. Let me Just ask you saying, this, though. You got Saquon. Worry I, about him. I did skip over this because they get their quarterback back. Cowboys, plus 2,200. No. Hmm, okay. Uh, David. You, you know why? Because they – can't win in the playoffs. They're like the Vikings. This is also a year where, I'm sorry, if Buffalo or Kansas City doesn't come out of the AFC, something stunning would have to happen. Those two teams are freight trains. And so let me ask you this question, going to the college ranks, because I just saw this story here. Uh, Deion Sanders did a 60-minute interview, and he said that he would be a fool not to consider a Power 5 coaching offer. Now, the reason why I want to ask this I is because— I think we all know Dion is not trying to stay at Jackson State. Right, but I understand that. But where would he go? Because Florida State, it's too late now. He can't go to Florida State. Why not? Well, they keep losing again. Why not? They're not, they're not going after Dion. They haven't won in a month. So, you, okay. Now, I mean, you could go after Florida State, but, I mean, there's a ton of other schools that he could I, go I've, to. I've thought from the beginning for his, his, the best place for him to go would be Georgia Tech. Atlanta, his name is very relevant. It is. It's it's a it's an urban university. You're in the city. It's a great brand. Played for the Falcons. Yep. Right. Yep. He played there, and I just look and, at it. And, and here's where you get angry and start yelling oh, and throwing academics. things at me. The academic standards at Georgia Tech are so high that Dion cannot go out and recruit like other teams at Florida State. He can go out and bring in players he can't get to Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is like Northwestern. It's like Vandy, and it's like Stanford. And there's a reason why all four of those teams share something in common. They're not that good because they can't go out there and get the elite talent. You can't go get the five-star player with a questionable SAT. He has to come in there, you know, cream of the crop type of stuff. So, yes, Mike, it makes sense. But I'm looking at Dion. I, I mean, you may see him. Honestly, it would be different. I don't know if it's going to be a fit, but – you know, someplace like Nebraska, where you can no, no, David. Here's why: Nebraska is ne, is getting bad because Nebraska used to go down into Texas. Dion was a cowboy. Dion can go into Texas. He still has cachet and say, "Hey, come on up here to Nebraska with me." Yeah, cachet with who? The parents? They're not playing. These kids don't know him playing for David, the Cowboys. Oh, David I'm, I'm, I'm just sorry. slapping Rico down. Do you know why most people? say they want to go to Michigan? Because these kids have no idea who Jim Harbaugh is, but their father's fanboy out and say, you know who that is, son? That's Jimmy Harbaugh. Yeah, he but wants Michigan is not really getting the difference maker five-star no, or no. four-star. No, no, can still walk into Dallas Man, Kenny and get and I something can done. Leave. This is like a family argument and right I'm here. I'm just saying, David, Deion, he ain't closing the bars down in Lincoln, but, yeah, he could go into Oklahoma, he can go into Texas, and then Dallas area and scoop up a ton of talent and take them up to Nebraska with him.